So we found our roads or our networks using a class A system, borrowing nine bits. We have the network pattern as follows. Now if we were to just say take this network here, the 10.0.0, sorry, the 10.0.128.0 network, we want to know what the address range would be for that network. Note the very next network after that. A little key there on how to work out your address range by noting the next network. So if we go down the page here, we looked at the situation where we're borrowing those nine bits up here, which means just the first bit of the third octet. When we look at our host portion, we see that that's where we've had an N bit there. And the rest of these are all H's. These are all host bits. All the way across. And we want to go and find out what is our address range for the 10.0.128.0 network. Usually you would go along and place 0, 01010100111 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, const the simple binary counting system four zeros four ones eight zero eight ones that we had obviously room. Let's place all ones in this last row. And if you remember all ones in the host portion of a network system is known as the broadcast address, and that's really helpful to work out our range as well. We we'll note that the very first row is all zeros. And that's an address we can't use. That's one of the restricted addresses. So they're out. Which equals zero. We can't have that address. 10.0.128.0, if we use that row, would be an illegal address. All the ones also is not used for a different reason, because it's reserved for the broadcast address. So there's always two addresses you can't have. That's why we have that two to the number of network bits minus two for available host addresses. So what is our address range? The question is, how do we work up from this and show every address in the network 10.0.128.0? If we look at the next row, this will be zeroed out. So they're just zeros here, zeros all across there but we have a one value under the heading one. So this equals one. And that's our very first address, usually attributed to the router. So our range therefore would be 10.0.128.1, our first address. Now to find the last address, it's quite easy. Look at the last row here. Remember we can't use that as an address, but we could use this one, where we've got all ones up into the very last bit, which is zeroed here, and that would be our last usable address in the range. So we look at what that adds up to. At this stage, we can see it's not all ones, so it won't be 255, it'll be 255 minus one, that one there. So I can expect in that last position a value of 254 in that last octet. But what happens in the third octet? is a very important focus here that we have a one, 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 one. That adds up to, when we add 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, we get a value of 127. And there's a question, what do we do with that 127? Well, because it's in the same octet where we have this network bit, we have to place that all that 127 on top of 128. So that's where we'd have an answer or a total of 255. So that's our very last usable address in that range. It goes 10.0.128.1 to 10.0.128.0. And of course, Putting a 1 in there would be 255255, which is a broadcast. Now I brought your attention before to the, pre the situation where what is the preceding network, what's next? 
it's 10.1.0.0. And that'll make sense that it would be the next network because that's the next jump, the next possible combination, if you like. Remember, 255 here would be the broadcast, all ones. So once we've exhausted all these bits, we'd have to move over. So our next network we see is 10.1.0.0. That's our next network. So this all becomes zeroed, and we start again and work out our host address range from there. Of course, we still have one in this position, so we would see that the first address of this next network would be 10.1.0.1. Same principle applies. applies here that we have all ones being the broadcast. So if we had all ones in this scenario, we would see that the broadcast address, let's come down in a different colour, the broadcast address would be 10.1. Now all ones there, remember this is zero here, all ones there would be 127. And all ones here, the whole octet is 255. So that's the broadcast address for this network. And we always just need to go back one to get the last address in the range, therefore. Remember, this, this here was the first address for that network. So the last address is one less than the broadcast. So therefore, the range would be 10.1.127. Dot two five four. That is the address range for subnet two or the third mm -hmm. subnet. Subnet two is this one or the third subnet. So that is how we see the range of addresses per subnet. They all have the same number of addresses. It'd be 2 to the power of 15, because there's 15 host bits, take away 2. All networks, because it's a class or arrangement here, have the same address, uh, same subnet mask, and same number of hosts, therefore, per network. We would just carry on. Again, we notice that this being our very last address, would suggest, therefore, that it would go 10.1, they zero out, that has to go up one. And it can go up one. Before it couldn't go up one, this had to go to one. This can go up one, it would be 128. So I expect 10.1.128.0 for the next network. And that's what we do get here. So it does make sense. We could then work out the range of that, and the very last address here, would be the broadcast, the usable address would be one less than the broadcast, and we notice that that will make it 255 to 254. 255 is the broadcast, so they were exhausted, that was 255, that's 255, we must move over to 2. So knowing the broadcast address, obviously boundary makes our boundary. There's two addresses in every network you can't have to use on a host, it's the network itself, the address of the network, and the broadcast address, and that's what we've been looking at. When we looked at this one, that was the network address. The broadcast would be 255.255. The one before is the last usable. And that's why the range here for the network we first looked at goes from 10.0, 128.1 to 10.0, 254. We expect a lot of addresses with 15 bits. So that's class A, looking for our networks and our address range, borrowing 9 bits.